The checklist for adult sponsor is Form 1 of the Project Approval Form. It is required of all projects. Who fills this up? It's the adult sponsor. Now, just to clarify, who can act as an adult sponsor? Well, it can be a teacher, parent, professor, or a professional scientist. Basically, anyone who has a solid background in science. The main role of the adult sponsor is to ensure the safety and health of the student and to ensure eligibility for the project to enter competition. This form must contain the name of the student in the case of an individual project or the names of all the students in the case of a team project. It then follows with a project title. Now, you need to be aware that the project title has a limit of 6 words and 50 characters long, including spaces. The adult sponsor will then attest to the following. Review the Intel ISEF rules and guidelines, at least those that are pertinent to this project. Review the student checklist Form 1A and research plan and discuss with the student possible risk involved in the project. For projects involving human subjects, vertebrae animals, or potentially hazardous biological agents, the adult sponsor will also attest to having completed the forms that are required prior to experimentation. The sponsor must also check that all the required forms are present. The adult sponsor checklist, which is Form 1, the student checklist, which is Form 1A, the research plan for the experiment, and the approval form, which is Form 1B, which is required for every member of the group if it's a team project. Also, if the research was done in a university setting or a private uh, research facility, then Form 1C is required. Or if the project is a continuation project from previous science fair years, then Form 7 has to also be completed. Some projects actually require additional forms, which also require additional approval. These projects are those that involve humans, that involve vertebrae animals, or potentially hazardous biological agents, or hazardous chemicals and activities or devices. If any of these apply to the project, then the adult sponsor must check all the boxes that apply to the particular project and make sure that these forms are present. Finally, the adult sponsor has to complete all the, all the information that is required at the bottom. His or her printed name, signature, date that uh, this form has been reviewed, phone number, and the email address.